Hello, Divine Souls. I hope you're well today. And I have a few things to share with you. First, I want to tell you something that kind of shocked me. It did and it didn't. So I was at the dentist yesterday and I'm laying in the chair and, and dentists scare me very bad, very bad. Because when I was 11, I had a very bad dentist work on me, giving me a root canal on my front tooth. He claimed to have numbed me, but it didn't feel like it. And it wasn't that I was scared, but I wasn't. It was, I did feel the pain. And I remember crying and saying, I feel pain. And then he gave me another shot and he didn't even wait for the anesthesia anesthetic to kick in. He just got right back with it. And I remember my mom was in there and I remember screaming and crying. And he said, I can't give her any more numbing medication. And my mom just said, okay. And he continued. And I remember him telling the secretary woman up front to have everybody in the waiting room leave and cancel the appointments for that day or up until he got done. I can't remember exact words. But I remember thinking, this is really scaring me. He's clearing out the clinic. And he continued. And back then, the, the technique was different. They would take and I don't think they do the same thing. If they do, I, I don't know because I don't look anymore. But he took little screws and would screw in my tooth that would wrap my nerve around the screw and then he'd pull it out. And he did that several times. And I remember when it was all done, I was soaking wet. I was sweating. I was shaking and I just couldn't believe what happened. And my mom just kind of turned her back and just ignored everything. And it was said on the news not too long after that, that he got put in prison for writing prescriptions that were not appropriate, meaning I guess for abusers or whatever. Um, it was something along those lines. I'm not 100% sure because back then they weren't so strict on writing prescriptions like they are now. But that, that kicked in a lot of fear for me, for dentist. And if the dentist does not care about how he does his work, I don't go back. And my numbing never stays long. So my dentist now gives me a lot of numbing medication. He's very caring. He, um, he really takes care of me. And I feel so many good souls in his practice, his little clinic. It's only him and his wife and a technician that's been with him for many, 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 many years, like 20 something years, maybe even longer. The dental hygienist, I'm not sure, but I have such good vibrations when I go there. And it's like the energy, the energy is so pure. And he and his wife are just amazing, amazing. And I'm pretty sure that they pull this energy in and <laughs> as well as other energies. And I'm saying that because I remember what I seen. So I do this thing, even though I trust him fully, that when I lay down, I, I grasp my hands on my lap and I do the white knuckle thing. I ring my fingers and all kinds of stuff. But knowing who I am now and what's around me and what I feel, since I've opened up tremendously, and know everything about the spirit world that needs to be known. I I call in my guides. Of course, they're already there. And all these thoughts go through my head. You know, please help me relax. Let me be numb for a while. Let him do a good job and do it fast. And as I'm laying there, I see a Bigfoot. I see a few extraterrestrials. <laughs> I see a few angels. I, and other entities I, I didn't recognize and beings of light. And I'm kind of in my head smiling because my mouth is wide open. I couldn't really just smile. I'm staring at the ceiling and I'm seeing all this in my third eye. And I wanted to start laughing because the Bigfoot, I, I might, it might be Sasquatch. I think it was a Sasquatch. 
And I'm just sitting there thinking, that, you know, there's a lot of help. There's a lot of help. And I'm staring at the ceiling and all of a sudden I see an orb go right across the ceiling. And for those of you who do not know what orbs are, they are entities. Um, when we cross over, we can choose to have a body or not. And some of us choose to be just a little ball of energy. And that's what they are. It's their way of saying, hey, we're here or we're passing through, hello, or whatever, you know. And so I thought that was amazing. And I want to add also in my last video, I don't know why I didn't do it. But when I was talking to you, an orb came from behind me. It always does. I don't know why. Comes up behind me and then goes up the, the picture frame right here. I think, or it came from this way. I cannot remember. But I stopped when I was editing. I stopped it. And I was like, should I take a picture of it and do an arrow again? And then, then, then. And then I'm like, no. But I should have. And I think from this point forward, I will. And I also want to point out, did you see all that reflection that just happened up there on my wall and everything? That's the cars going through. The way the sun is around my building when cars come in or I guess out, maybe not out. Yeah, there's one going out right now. And you might see the glare right when they get to the end of the parking lot to turn. And when they come in, you'll see a reflection go through. But not little balls. So this point forward, I will take a little shot, screenshot for you and stick in there. So I had a visit also the other day. And... When I get done with this visit, describing it, I'll show you what Kong had sent me, the gifts that he sent me. So, I think it was not last night, the night before. I lay down, and I'm on my left side, and I've been waking up, even though I got a, a three-inch memory foam uh, mattress topper thing. It does help quite a bit, but it still, on some nights, does not take away the pain, and it's severe. It takes everything I have to turn around in bed, it's really bad. And I moan and I groan and I try to grab where I, whatever I can on the mattress and pull myself because it's so severe. But the night before, I'm laying in bed and I think the before that was the night it was horrible. And so I lay down and sometimes, and I was tired as always here lately. I'm on my left side and I'm, and I'm thinking, well, I look around and think, are you here? And I'm looking for all the signs, the haze, the little spider web looking things, the geometric shapes, my curtains, you name it. And there was nothing. And I'm like, I was really hoping to see somebody tonight. And so I'm laying there and all of a sudden, when I'm on my left side, my back is to the edge of the bed. But all of a sudden, I felt like a kneading, a deep tissue kind of like kneading in my lower back area, which is the most painful part for me. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> this is nice. And they did it for a while. And I'm sitting there or laying there and I'm enjoying it. But then I do this thing and it's for protection. Although I say it all the time. But I'm like, you know, if you're not of good and come from source, light, energy, love, you, you have to go. Um, which I don't know of any good or bad entity that's going to sit there and try to make you feel good like that. And I said it a few times and they stayed and I'm like, okay, so you must be good. And they did it for a while. And I'm sitting there thinking, I'm assuming you're working on my back, you know, thank you or whatever. And I go to sleep. Well, I wake up yesterday morning. Thursday yeah I woke up and I'm like I don't feel any pain usually when I get up the first thing my back hurts it hurts to get out of bed and then I have to walk around to loosen things up and then it becomes less painful so I'm walking and I'm like that's really weird and I forgot about the massage and I'm sitting there sitting there I'm walking around thinking that's weird I have no pain even at work I worked um, eight hours yesterday because I had a, the dentist appointment and all, so I had to work more hours. And I'm sitting there thinking the whole day, oh my gosh, I am not hurting. This is amazing. I hope they healed me. And 
all day until I got home, of course. And I think it was that night I started getting a little sore. I'm not sure what time it started or anything, but last night in bed, I went to roll over. I woke up in severe pain again. And I'm like, man, I know they can heal people. I know they can because there's reports and they're always working on my body. And I know they're trying to heal specific parts of my body. So I don't know. I wish they could have done it. I really do. But that's all from that visit that I remember. I didn't see any bodies walking around. I was not going to roll over and see who was there because usually when you're doing something on me and I move, sometimes they just stop and I don't want them to. I want them to hang around and do what they're going to do. And I, and I love them being there, their energy and love and all that, that I feel is amazing. Sometimes it's, it's I wouldn't say scary. It's, um, it's very powerful and it's like a dominance, a dominance in the air, that control feeling, that power. And I've grown so accustomed to it that sometimes it's hard to feel it, but I still, I don't want to roll over and have them leave. And there's times where I tell them don't go and they do, or I feel that they do. And I maybe at those times they stick around and put me to sleep so they can finish what they're doing. I just don't know because I don't get to communicate with them much. I feel like there's a transformation happening with me all day today. I went to see Black Adam, the movie. It was really good, really good. All day today, I'm like, and maybe because I went outside, but I felt like something is transforming inside. It feels like something ex is expanding. And here lately, I'm seeing my higher self, my soul, often. And today I've seen her again and She's just beautiful. I'm like, that cannot be me. That cannot be a part of me. But she's always a yellow gold, always. And her hair is always kind of wild out here. It's wavy and it's like, like there's no gravity and it's out and she's just flowing and bright. And, and I so want to share that to people that I am with other than you, of course. But I would love to just get my family and say, oh my gosh, this is what I'm seeing. This is what I'm hearing and feeling and that, but I have nobody. It's kind of difficult sometimes. I, there's a medium that I ask questions for and I feel like she said something to me that I think it was her. I can't remember who it was that told me that my guides don't want me to rely on information from other people because it will alter me as in, what if I asked her, did I see my higher self today? And this is what I seen and blah, blah, blah. And then she, she could be a jealous person, which I don't think she is and saying, Oh no, no, you're just, you're just thinking, thinking or making things up, you know? And then I would shut that part of me down and it probably would. And I do need to stop asking because it will make me feel the way I usually do. I am crazy. I could not be seeing these things, you know what I mean? And I don't need to be going there because I am growing. I am expanding. And, and I like that because I feel like I'm a better person today than I was a month ago, than I was a year ago. And the more time progresses, I do feel better and better, bigger. And I, I feel important. I've never felt important in my entire life. When my awakening happened, I kind of went through a, a emotional exchange, if you want to call it that. How am I that important is what I would go through. Who am I? Because I went through so much abuse and, and mental distortion, if you want to call that. So I went through sadness, anger, gratitude, happy, and then all over again. I love where I am today. My mind is in a better place lately. Um, it goes up and down with these energies that come. We are experiencing a lot of hard energies hitting us lately. I would like to know, do the earthlings feel what we go through as light workers and star seeds and such? I don't know. I want to say because they have to progress also but I do know that we feel the most of it because we have to 
expand. We have to grow in our vibra vibrations and light. And, and it's hard. And I saw a post today and it was like, oh, you're so right. It was in a roundabout way. The light workers, as in, as I said, star seeds and such. We, we are taking all of this on and it's a lot. Mainly because the star seeds, other light workers that are supposed to be awake aren't. They're denying who they are because probably like I did and or they just don't want to be in that position. They're just like, nope, I hate life. Life sucks, blah, blah. And so we're taking like a double whammy because of them. But we are due, I'm not sure when, of another great awakening. And I can't wait for that because that will, that will be very help, helpful. And I really hope that my kids will awaken. They need to. They really need to. So I'm going to show you the things that Kong Lee had got me off of my wish list. As you know, I said yesterday he got these. There's a set of three, but I only have two on. And I'm still getting used to them. And then there's these. I I love these. I've worn them and love them. They're so comfortable. They're so, so comfortable. And they're not the hard, clunky, when you walk on linoleum, you can hear it like a, gosh, I don't know, a hard-soled shoe. They're very, very comfortable. They are called Life Stride, and they're a little expensive. And that's why I had them on my wish list, because I can't afford them. I am going to take you with me into my room and show you the other things that he got me. There is a dress here beside me that I was going to show you, but there's no good way to show you that you can have a good view of. But it crosses in the front, and it's real long. It goes to the floor. It's short sleeve, and it's burgundy color. And it's so soft. It's so soft. I wish they made sheets out of this, but it's soft. So I'm gonna take you in my bedroom and show you the other things. Okay. You, you're gonna have to excuse all of my cords until I figure out what to do with everything. But this is the nightstand by my bed. He got me the Buddha. It's a water fountain. And I can hear that all the way in the living room. I love it. I don't have my glasses on, so I hope you can really see it. That is a basket with some crystals in it. He got me that. And then he got me that crystal amethyst elephant, in which I love dearly. Let's see, one, two, three. And that's it, five items. And I love each and every one. So I really love this because of the sound. Well, and it's Buddha too, I love Buddha. That crystal's right there. It's a fuzzy eyeball that my 28 year old made for me. It, it's got a rolly eye on the other side. But so that's it. So we're gonna go back in the living room. Well, I hope you liked looking at all that. I wish I could show you the dress more. I have put the phone on earlier today and opened it and tried to show you, but the phone, cause I don't have a camera. The phone is just awkward for me to do a video on it, it being so long. I'm sure that you would understand. I mean, if I walked farther away from the phone, you don't see as much detail. And you have to walk pretty far away from the phone to get the whole length of it in. That was my last couple of days. When I end this video and edit it and put it up, of course, I'm going to start another one on my computer. So I'm gonna give you a heads up of, of what it is going to entail. I'm going to be putting on my channel randomly not every every time I upload, of uh, meditations. They're gonna be guided with uh, meditational tones in the background. And this one, I'm going to be titling it, um, Forgiving Those Who've Done You Wrong. And I, and I will walk you through that in a meditational state and how to clear that from you, from your aura, your your soul, and I mean, you, you have to get in a place where you forgive them so your karma will be cleansed also. I will be doing that off and on. 
So I'm going to end this video here. And I love you so much. And I'm going to send you love, light, and peace. By the way, thank you for sticking around and watching. Bye.